Hello everyone, welcome to episode 3 of how to make a scratch project. In this video, the first thing we're going to do is, well, I recently figured out that you don't actually need and to draw anything here. So look, as you can see, when you start the project, you start over here, right? Because that's where the spawn point is. But if you delete the costume entirely, you actually still spawn there. And that is a huge plus, which is great. Anyways, now, we haven't really added all that much to our game yet. All we really have is lava, the ground, and the player. Now that is pretty good, but still. So first of all, we're gonna label, uh, our player scratch cat because that is uh, its name and it's just better so that we know which sprite we're actually editing so now what we're going to do is we're going to make the level a little bit better well so let's have a little jump over here all right and then copy and paste and then put it over here all right, and then there we go. Now you can jump across. All right, let's try it. Okay, there's just one issue. There's no really real way to beat the level. Well, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make another sprite for that, and we'll call it Goal. Now let's just draw a black portal as our goal. You can really draw whatever you want, just as long as it's big enough for the scratch cat to actually touch it. Now make sure the scratch cat's always in the front layer. In fact, we're gonna add something to the top of our script that makes it go to the front layer when the project begins. There we go. Remember to clean up your blocks. They're always better when they're clean. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna, when green flag clicked, go to front layer, go backward one layer. And now what we can do is we can make it so that in our movement script if touching goal go to spawn point of course and then also broadcast so broadcasts are basically let me show you so you broadcast message one and then this receives it so for instance it's basically uh, i don't know if you've ever heard and used game builder garage it's kind of like a wormhole so basically you can have that you can broadcast a message over here It'll transmit itself over to here. But you can also transmit it to other sprites. So watch this. If I broadcast message one, the ground will reply. So what we can do is we can put it under go to spawn point and make a new message called next level. And now in the ground sprite, we do one green flag clicked, switch costume to costume one, go to zero, zero. And now let's make it so that when I receive next level, next costume. Now, let's duplicate this. And basically this time, let's just make it some flat planes. All right, so there we go, that's good. All right, we'll give, him, we'll give the player a break from jumping. And let's test it out. Wow, this is looking great so far. Let's say in our next level, we'll have an obstacle blocking our path. So let's duplicate this. And then what we can do is add a little thing here that we'll have to jump over. And let's try that. All right, well, let's go ahead and, wow, how are we? Wait, what? Yeah, this is an issue. There is no wall collision. So if you collide with this wall, all you do is slide up because all we have is something that makes it so that if you're touching the ground, then it changes your Y. So this will get a little bit complicated. All right, so what we do is we make a new sprite called wall. And then what we do is we copy this and then we delete it and we paste it into the wall sprite. Go to zero, zero. Now let's make two extra costumes. Now what we do is we steal some scripts from this. So let's put these into wall 
And when when green flag clicked, switch costume to costume two. All right, let's go ahead and test this out. All right, there we go. And now, at least we're not floating up, but now we gotta add wall collision. Now, this may, you may think this is hard, but it's actually really easy. All we have to do is add an and to the right arrow script and then and not touching wall. We're gonna change the name of this to right collision because it's only collision on the right. Now, let's go ahead and test this out. All right, it works. That is amazing. This is actually amazing. All right, so now you will sink into a little bit, but um, this tutorial is for beginners. So sadly, I'm not revealing how to fix that. I am really sorry. So anyways, we can't really jump up enough to actually get over. So we're gonna need to increase the jumping a little bit because normally characters for video games jump way higher. So let's try this. Three. Wait, that is way too high. Okay, let's try 10 and then 20. All right, this is not too bad, except again, there's just one issue. There is no ground up here. Yeah, that's a bit of an issue. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna just change this to sort of, so duplicate this and change this to left collision. And then sort of move this right over here. And then for right collision, move this right over here. And so this might look like it's not gonna work, but just bear with me on this one. Next, we make sure this goes to zero, zero and switch the costume to costume three. And we gotta move this a little bit. All right, and now in the left movement script, what we do is we duplicate this and, get rid of this, put that in there. I sound like I'm speaking gibberish. And then now if not touching left collision. Again, this may look a little complicated for you and for people who don't have two monitors, I am so sorry, but hopefully you'll be able to copy this over. Just for people like me who have a little bit of trouble following tutorials fast enough, I'm just gonna scroll through all the code we need to do. All right, so now what we do is we just go back to, all right. All right, so now we're going to move this down a little bit and move this down on the same length. Now you may be asking why I'm doing this. Well, it's pretty simple. We're gonna add some ground collision up in here. So let's just make sure this is going in the right place. Let's move it up to here. All right, so now let's test it out. All right, so first we will have to decrease the jumping again, just a little bit. So repeat 20, change Y by 10. Let's try that one out. Okay, so we're still gonna repeat 10, change Y by 15. Okay, that's not too bad actually, but it feels like the falling is a little bit broken. So we'll fix that later. So now we go over here. So we can't, we can't go do this and then but we'll have to jump over and then we can't do this. This is doing, this is going so great so far. Since this is a simple tutorial, I could have used hit boxes on the scratch cat, but again, this is for beginners and hit boxes are not. Even I have trouble doing hit boxes. So now this is going to be fun. We're gonna make the falling a lot better like it feels like you're actually falling 
So bear with me on this. We're going to have to use variables again. I know they're a little bit complicated, but we'll get them. So let me just make a new variable called y velocity. Now go ahead and make it hide. And so now if touching ground, set y velocity to zero. And then what we do is instead of if not touching ground, uh, change y by negative 10, change y by y velocity, and then change y velocity by negative 10. So, again, I know this is a little complicated, but let's try this out. Ooh, looks like that's a little bit too much. Let's change that to zero. Nope, still not good. Let's change it to negative 10 and then change y velocity by two. And there we go, there we have it. Now it's actually falling at a decent speed. That is great. I couldn't have asked for a better falling. Actually I could have, but since you're a beginner it would be a little more complicated. So, there we have it. Now, I'm sorry to say this, but that concludes the tutorial for today. In the next video, we're gonna make some more levels, we're gonna be adding enemies, and so much more. I can't thank you guys enough for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!